Welcome to Drawing with Trev. I am your host, Trev. I am joined today by one of the co-founders of Secondhand Program, Dustin. Why don't you give us a little hey, Dustin? Hey, Dustin! Yeah! Good stuff. You may have seen some of his videos. You may have seen some of Nathaniel's videos. This is an entirely new show that we're doing. I guess the main point of what we're trying to do here is take suggestions from viewers like you and, and we're gonna draw them with crayons. Um, some of you may have seen our unboxing video, but we've got, okay, let's get a nice little angle. There's no organization of these colors whatsoever. Uh, could have organized them like the rainbow. But we've got eight Jumbo Crayola crayons right here. Um, we may be gaining more, but it kind of depends on how many views we get from you people. So, normally we would take suggestions entirely from our YouTube page. But, since this is our first episode, we decided to ask a few of our friends for suggestions of what they would like to see us draw this first episode. Today's winning suggestion goes to our friend Ben. Ben suggests that we draw a unicorn in space, on fire, wearing sunglasses, smoking a cigar in anime style, give him guns, and badass battle scars. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get started. So, uh, I want to remind all of our viewers at home that I have not a whole lot of art experience. I am an amateur. Okay, we're going to start with purple because unicorns are pretty majestic and purple's a pretty majestic color. So, uh, let's see. Got that big snout. Everyone knows horses have big toothy grins. Look at that. A lot of teeth there. We'll show his other nose. Nostril. He's got two noses, people. This unicorn has seen some stuff. Okay, so uh, it's a unicorn. He's uh, am I supposed to draw the cigar in anime style or? Yeah, we'll, we'll try. We'll do our best. As you can see, we got a unicorn arm. We got legs, I guess. For being realistic. Of course, the one leg is much shorter than the other ones. Exact proportions. Um, it might look weird to you at home, but uh, unicorns actually have those exact proportions. I'm not kidding. It's, it's how they are. Let's get sunglasses while we're at it. These are not your average sunglasses. These are cool aviators. Yeah, we got a real, real badass here as the uh, title suggestion went. Sunglasses are yellow. I'd like to point out that just because we have a cigar does not mean we condone smoking. It is bad for you, but uh, people do it. And that was the suggestion of the week. I do not like to change that. Since it's a unicorn, we need a rainbow tail. We're gonna use every color of the rainbow. Got a little audience member out there peeking in at us, just enjoying the fun. Alright. That is majestic as 
the word that I'm not going to say on this episode. Okay, Unicorn, we cannot forget the large horn that inspired the name of this beast. And it is a beast. In spite of a significant lack of detail, very specific spot. Okay, we gotta be consistent with the hair coloring. It's not a typical rainbow, this is a unicorn rainbow, which uh, does not follow the typical color spectrum. It, well, it's the, the other kind. We got some green. Look at all those colors. Nice flowing hair. Got plenty of room for guns, too. So this, these back hairs are a little shorter than the rest. Okay, of course, most guns are black. Um, we have a, a nice pistol here. Look at the detail. Nice little handle. I guess it's a blunderbuss. A handheld blunderbuss. He's a maybe he's a pirate unicorn. I don't know. He really didn't specify. He he could have any number of occupations for all we know. What he does to make money is his own business. You know, I guess it could be a girl unicorn. There's nothing saying girl unicorns can't be badasses too. I'm, I, I didn't mean to be sexist there. I, I really do apologize. Okay, the next gun, we'll do a, kind of a more camo color and we'll make it a bazooka. Going over the shoulder, but uh, too much weight in front, and I don't know if the unicorn would be able to support it, so we get you know, got the nice grips there, nice nice little details. Uh, label as much as we can on there. That's a that's an A under the cigar. Looks like a little tent, but it is in fact an A. Here we got the the fourth hoof. Let's see, how am I doing so far? We're gonna have to give him a little chest here, there. Um, a unicorn in space, he's not on fire yet. We need to, we need to put him on fire. Um, anime style is missing as well. I think we can combine the anime style and the fire. Give him guns and badass battle scars. So, uh. Battle scars <coughs> imply that he was fighting a, a cheetah. So, we'll give him one there. And a nice scar going down his eye. He actually looks kind of like Kratos now. Um, maybe, maybe some nice purple muscles too. This, I don't know if we really captured badass yet. Unicorns are very powerful creatures, but they do not have nipples. Okay. One. Um, he's on fire now. If any of you you have seen the show Dragon Ball Z, you'll know that. In anime, when uh, when characters power up, they kind of light themselves on fire, but it doesn't hurt them. They um, they actually get cooler as soon as the flames turn on. I mean, in this case, more badass too because it's like a play on words because cooler. Anyways, now the unicorn is on fire. Light red, just for that three-dimensional look. But uh, we're missing one last significant element, which is outer space. Um, draw happy stars in the distance. 
some more over here. Kind of hinting at a constellation there that may or may not be Ryan's built. May or may not be. Got a nice little funky star. That's actually a two star system. It's the, the constellation known as the Jack O' Lantern constellation. Worshipped by the, uh, the Halloween faith. Also in space, we have planetary bodies. Uh, we have some nice green, blue, and black ones, which are our very own planet Earth, to show that maybe he's watching over us like a, a guardian angel. We got good old Africa and Antarctica, two very green continents. We got the old European. Peninsula, South Korea. We got some other things here. Cannot forget the seas that divide the two continental masses or Australia. The rest, of course, is our very own deep blue sea and the polar ice caps. Which, uh, you know, why not? It's a globe. There's an equator. Well, there you have it, folks. Nice unicorn. Let's uh, let's read the description so we can see how the the inspirational details led to this final creation. A unicorn in space on fire, wearing sunglasses, smoking a cigar in anime style. Give him guns and badass battle scars. So up. Uh, I think we did a bang up job. You can definitely tell he's in space. There is a little bit of anime style, maybe in the exaggeration of how far apart his arms are, and as I mentioned earlier, with the, uh, the uh, gorgeous detailed flames. This is the first of many drawings that we will be creating on Drawing with Trev. Uh, you might notice I'm sweating profusely. It is very warm in the state of Minnesota right now, and it was very nerve-wracking drawing this picture. I invite you to subscribe to our page, Secondhand Programs. If we get more than 500 views total on the Drawing with Trev series, whether it be on one video or spread out over all of them, we will upgrade our number of crayons from 8 to 12. It's a very exciting proposition. I invite you to help us on this endeavor. Until then, this has been a wonderful first show, and I hope you all have a pleasant day. Thank you very much. Share this video with as many people as you'd like, and don't be afraid to check out our unboxing video where we demonstrate the crayons that we used in today's video. Thank you very much. It's, um, just nice yellow, nothing special. Um, might use it sparingly. Yellow doesn't show up. Ooh, we've got red. Looks like they're pretty basic colors. Uh, kind of like kids' first coloring box, you know? We don't have any of the fun colors like macaroni and cheese or anything.